What's up y'all, Brian here at Castle Hives. We are on the way to Greg's place, Nature's Image Farm. pack this thing until you think you I cannot absolutely pack any more needles in there but see the color of that this is a it's a completely different smoke than our, our northern white pine needles the southern pine just goes to town look at that so when it's when it's that yellow color it's more of that creosote from the needles and we're actually going to get this cool they're slowly moving but watch what happens when I directly smoke them can you hear the difference? Oh yeah, they don't like that too much. They don't like that. And at some point they eventually don't like it to the point where they start letting us know they don't like that. So we're just gonna give them a little bit of smoke. So now, the, uh, today's goal is to, is to check out this queen cage um, and see what's going on. So I'm gonna use my hive tool and just kind of spread these frames. Uh, do you see a queen in there? Nope. Nope. And all the corks are gone. Uh, let's see. There he is. <laughs> so you see, this was the emergency cork, yeah. and then this was the cork that where the sugar side was yeah, on. Right. That's so then I'll take her and I'll put her right onto my finger, and we're just going to hold hands. We're going to get all lovey-dovey, and I'm going to hold all three of her legs huh. with one side, just like that. Wow. She is perfectly secure. She can't move around. I'll use my pen that I've already sh um, shaken out. Now, before you use your pen, you want to shake it up. On a brand new pen, it'll have a fresh wick. You want to get the paint going to the wick. The most important thing to do before you mark this queen is to just dab it onto something first. Okay? And I'll come in. You can you guys see the thorax, that mm -hmm. little that big black spot right on top of there? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay? Now what we're gonna do to mark is I'm gonna show Brian's camera this and you guys can check out his YouTube channel and see this all again. I'm gonna take that mark and just just like that. Hmm. That simple. Wow. Now every year we mark them a different color so we know what year she was born. The two, what you don't want to do is take your high pull down in there and just start separating it, cleaning up the wax. Good job. And just lean it, put it on a hive stand, lean it right up against. Okay. All right, so here's the hive tool. So go ahead and just take this one and just slide this one off to the side a little bit. There you go. All of, now go all the way against the sidewall. Yep, there you go. All right, same thing there. Good job. Uh -huh. It's yeah. been installed for just a, not even three days. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what we kind of find in, inside of here. The queen could be in the cage. She could be already out. Now when we installed this, just like we did with the other ones, we, um, we put our queen right in between the two frames. Now these particular frames are interesting. Um, you can put your regular wood frames in there, but this came with the... the the pro frames, which are a two piece plastic, you kind of split apart. And then we dropped our premier foundation right in between and then snapped it back together. It's kind of neat. Hmm. Um, so the, that's what these, this particular hive is gonna be full of those this year, just to kind of see what they do. Um, so it's all full of that premier foundation. We put our queen right in the center, just like we did on everything else. Um, but we took this empty hive body right here and we put that on top and used it as a shaker box, just like we did um, on everything else. As a matter of fact, that can go back into the, 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 the workshop there when we get done today. So now we're going to take the lid off and look down inside and see what we see. So these have really cool handles. We can just kind of pop them open. You can get that side. You got it? Yeah. Okay. We're going to take our lid off. And what do you see there? Weird. What are these chimney-ish looking things? Well, these are the bee feeders. So we actually fill it full of, of the, of the ProSuite um, right on top and they can kind of come you can see can you see the bees in there you see how they're coming up through here up the ladders huh. and they're feeding on the syrup kind of through there it's kind of, it's really cool so you guys see those two piece plastic frames are kind of neat we can slide in that premier foundation easy so the same thing is going to apply here so now this one might be a little different i think this was only installed i took the shaker box off yesterday that was friday so we installed them thursday so they've actually only been in here for two days 
And what you're about to see is probably contrary to anything you're ever going to read or anyone's ever going to tell you. But I guess that's, our, that's kind of our tagline on our farm logo is the contrary farmstead. We find sometimes that the things that, that we see out in the field and do is sometimes contrary to what everybody else says. We're not intentionally trying to do things opposite or different, but we just sometimes have a different uh, experience. So we're just going to go ahead and get this, um, pull this queen cage out. And we're going to look inside of there. The queen might still be in she there. She might still be in there. And if I'm looking, I still see all the sugar. So they haven't all haven't quite uh, gotten her out. But you can tell here what they think about her. You see mm. how they're on top? They're loving on They want to get mama out. Oh, come on. No one's got time for that. Let's just take this cage apart. <laughs> I'm not sure if you're going to be able to catch this, Brian. We're going to take the staple out, take the screen off, put it face down right into the colony. I want to keep that cage. Okay. Does anybody have a fly swatter? Or they've got chopsticks to try to catch her out of the air if she does go. Okay, ready? One, two, three. There she is. See her flying? Right down in the colony she went. Okay. You hear that? Fresh. Yeah. All right. <laughs> now look, there's no one home, just one of the workers. See? Now, Brian, could you do us the honors? We had the um, we had our entrances reduced a little bit. With your camera on there, could you open us up a little bit on each side? On the bottom, I think the uh, sliders. Yeah. Now I'm going to get a video of Brian getting a video. <laughs> <laughs> Now here's the cool part. This is that horizontal hive, the lighthouse hive that Ricky Roark built for us. And one of the coolest things is when we open it up, what we see on the inside. Are you ready? Want to help me open it? Okay, grab that corner. Ready? One, two, three. Look at that. Oh, wow. Now look, we can get right up to the bees there. And we can see exactly what's going on right from the inside. Isn't this cool? So there is it. So you guys know what we're doing, right? We had a queen cage. Now we're trying to get our queen out. But look how fun this is. This is like right at our height. There's no boxes. We can all kind of get around it. So we have our feed. We can see they're finally starting to take a little bit of feed. It's been warm enough. They'll be able to break the cluster and go over. I guess what we could have done is put a frame feeder in here a little bit closer to them. But looks like they're doing fine. They're getting feed. So now we need to go inside of here and open up and release our queen. So we're gonna take our observation window off. And I think one of the cool things that I like about this, this colony is it's kind of like a workbench. You got you can just yeah. lay your stuff up on here, everything's yeah. kind of you know good to go. This one I think will be bigger. Yep. So go ahead and give us some smoke down that center seam there. We're gonna ask these ladies to kind of just move out the way for a sec. Go ahead and they give are. them a little bit more. Now this is this is sometimes what happens, especially on a juicy package, one that's fed really, really well and they want to go to town. It's, it's that thing that we're always worried about, and we'll see how bad this one is. But you see, when we wedge the, the queen cage in between the frames, they'll draw all this foundation out. And nine times out of 10, there's gonna be eggs in this, and that's where the queen's gonna be. So we're gonna be real careful when we go to split this and pull this out. Okay, luckily there's no eggs. But look, how, look at the color of the wax. Look how beautiful yellow it is. Now why is that yellow as opposed to the other ones were white? I have no idea. No. I really don't know. Um, it could be the, the difference in the forage. Um, it could be a lot of things. You know, the, the, the color of the wax is a great question. Th this, this wax is coming from them sweating the wax out. So for them to sweat it and make that color, I don't, I don't know if it's a difference between the bee, if it's their diet. Um, all these bees are on the same exact diet. They're all getting pro sweet um, and they're foraging and bringing everything in. So right now, we don't have any queen or eggs on there. So our queen is out. She was right out of the, right out of there. She's not in there. See how, look how calm these guys are. Look at how relaxed and calm and collected they are. If something would have happened to that queen or she would have been dead, 
These ladies would be so spicy and agitated because there is no mama and that just doesn't make anybody happy. So what we're gonna do is we can easily on this one, I'll use my high tool this way and I'll just gently just crack that frame this way. We're gonna pull this up. So this was the day after I needed bars on the neck. Yep. Yeah. And we're gonna take a look here and see what we see. They were going to town is drawing right out there? this oh, premier oh. foundation. There's pollen on that one. I thought it was. Yeah, you see the pollen? You Can you guys see the look smokes. look at that? Isn't that She's pretty? Look at the, the orange pollen. Do you know what that orange pollen's from? Brian, what's that orange pollen from? Something that has orange pollen. See? <laughs> Nailed it. Now look, what do you guys see in here? Let's see if, if the camera can see. If you look right inside here, we got we have day old eggs. And we have got a lots of orange pollen. So if we see eggs, what does that mean? She's there somewhere. She's lying. That means mama's been there within 24 hours, doesn't it? And then we're gonna get this. They've really gone to these are really good. These are these bees are propolizing pretty good already. And a lot of people believe that the propolis is the bees' medicine cabinet. It's full of all kinds of antivirals, antibodies. And look what I see right there. There she is. Mm -hmm. You guys see her? Mm -hmm. How pretty she is. Mm -hmm. She's see her running around right there? Oh yeah. Oh she's big. Oh yeah. I'm gonna reach down, just grab her by the wings gently. I'm gonna put our frame, just kind of rack our frame there. And we're just gonna hold hands with our lady queen. And then we're gonna use our marker. Let's give her a nice yellow dot. I love these pins, they're super bright and shiny. They dry quick. That's all it takes. And we're gonna put our queen right back in our colony and say, thank you, Mrs. Queen. Put her right back in. Let her get right back to work. What did we see already? Do I need to go through all these frames and look? Probably not. But you know what I am gonna do? We have a couple cool nights still ahead. So here's, I'm gonna make one little change. And here's the fun part about this colony. We can adjust and make all kind of changes. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the colony just a little bit closer to feed. And I can do that I can push all their ears together just like this and then I can slide them down. And now look how close they are to feed. Our, we found our queen. She's laying eggs. She had her hair done, her nails done. I think she's ready just to go back to work. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. Yep. And now if you're ever at home and you're wondering, are my bees thinking of me? You can just come right back out and you can just say, hi bees. <laughs> That's pretty cool though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's it. We went through how many colonies? One, two, three, four, five. We went through six colonies, six inspections. We found all the queens. All the queens from all the packages are doing awesome. They're all laying up a storm. The bees were drawing out the wax. They're already bringing in a nectar and pollen. Now is where the fun really gets to happen because now we get to watch all these colonies grow and we get to do it, and we get to watch them do it in five frame equipment, eight frame equipment, 10 frame equipment, an apame, and a horizontal hive, all in the same year. And we can learn and just see what are the bees doing in all these different colonies. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. Did you guys learn anything? Mm -hmm. Cool. It's a really, really interesting um, concept because what it does is it, it allows um, anybody with any kind of mobility uh, concern or a challenge, um, they can come right up into a wheelchair, a cane, anything.